one that says trying to reconnect. Oh, it's it better. Did. It's better? It's better? Yeah. Let's see if everybody can hear us. So we got all kinds of medical stuff going on. And I have a printer that's not working. Hey, Angie. Angie hey, is it Jack or Allison? Hey, yeah, you guys. Like Allison. How are you? I know. Here I we are. Oh, Angie. I bet this is Jack. Number you think three. maybe? Maybe? I put on makeup. Hey, Angie. Not You're yet. not walking. It's let's, raining. Let's see. My printer doesn't work, which is fun as I write my notes. Does anybody know what Vistaprint is? I order ink monthly, and if I hit too many pages, which is like 20, they cut off my, I can't print anymore. It makes me crazy. Vistaprint. Hey, Rindy. Hey, guys. How are you? Elaine's on. Hey, Elaine. Hello. Jack's on. Happy Monday. We are calling this Medical Monday. We're not going to always do medical stuff. Hey, Jack. How are you? We're not going to do medical stuff every Monday, but this Hi, Monday Elaine. we are. Hey, family. How are you? So, um, today I was just saying my printer doesn't work, and so that's a real drag. So Are you I, also saying that I have a bad hairdo? Because I do. I was saying you have a bad hairdo. It's okay. It's all right. Some days, it's that's Monday. what Monday's for, dude. That's what Mondays are for. The, uh, this is week six. Is it week six? No. Or week seven? I think it's week six. Nobody oh, knows. Holy cow. Hey, Allison. Woohoo. Hey. Okay, so, um, yeah. So, how was your weekend? Awesome. How was your weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Yeah, I had a really good weekend. You did? Yeah, good. why did you have a good weekend, Grayson? I went to my grandmother's. He went to his grandma's. It was awesome. And socially distanced. We haven't seen each other. They haven't been out. We haven't been out. Ow. Grayson the sat there with the bunny out in the yard, and he got to hang out at Linderwood. <laughs> yes. Okay. Sawyer, let's not do that. I'm just putting on my four-wheeler helmet. Okay, fine. That works. Whatever. I, I do, Whatever. Know. It's fine. It's fine. All right, so we're going to start. We've got a whole bunch to get to today. This is going to be fun. Hey, Mom. How are you? Hi, Nana. Hi, Nana. Yes. It was a good... Where are you guys? We're okay. in the garage. We're in the garage. garage. So we're in the garage on their four-wheelers because it's pouring rain, and they can't be on their four-wheelers, but they can pretend. Or they no, can't go far. We can go on our four-wheelers. Yeah. Yeah, we can just, go in the woods. Yeah. Okay, great. Oh, you wait. can go in. No, oh, you can't. It's pouring rain. Oh. And it's supposed to rain every day this week. What? Yeah. Two, That's gonna tomorrow be we're going down to I the lake and I'm that. doing the fish backs and I'm going to catch a pike. Oh. Okay. What? If and I bet you money, I'm, I'm going to catch a pike yes. or a largemouth bass. Okay, tomorrow he oh, is okay. going to talk about a pike or a largemouth mouth bass. If it's if not raining, it to I catch it. We will see. All right, Medical Monday. Let's start with our health care shout outs. So, do you know who we have today? This is pretty exciting, Angie. You might know. Who? Right here? Andy Funai. Andy Funai. Yeah, Funai. Funai. She was Richmond Magazine's 2017. Go. Speak it with energy, dude. 2017. 2019. 2017. 2017. Richmond Magazine's NP of the Year. Do you know what an NP is? Um, yes. A nur a nurse, practitioner. nurse practitioner. Nurse practitioner. Oh, Much like a PA. Practice. But a nurse practitioner. So Andy, if you know, she works at um, Virginia Cardiovascular. Hey, Virginia Cardiovascular Specialist. So, what does that mean, cardiovascular? Cardiovascular, isn't that? You can. Hey, Dad. Cardio. No, Sawyer, don't mess with the camera. But Elaine said, can we see the four wheelers? Yes, and we'll show them in just a minute. I'm gonna Not move yet. the camera. Not yet. I am. I'm gonna move it. I promise. Andy Funa from Virginia Cardiovascular Specialist. She takes care of what's cardiovascular? Doesn't Sawyer. Oh. Sawyer. Sawyer. We've lost him, much like the rest of Cardiovascular. Yay, Andy, right? She deserves a shout out because what's cardiovascular, Greg? I've been trying to get the answer. Cardio means Sawyer. What? Means? Doesn't it mean like cardio? Yeah, cardio. Uh-uh. Means what? Cardiovascular? Means? Heart. Heart. Heart feet. Heart. So do you think that she's needed? Hey, Papa's on. Yes, she is. Yes. Hi, Papa. Do you think Papa. she's needed? Yes, she's needed. Not? Yes, she is needed desperately. And so she is going to work. She probably doesn't have as many patients as she usually does. Why? Right, because people are staying home. But many, oh. if you have an emergency you with your heart, do you need to go ASAP? Yes, you need to go ASAP. Sit down. Mm. Sit down, Sawyer. Let's try this. It's been four minutes. You've done great. You have done great. I just need to, I just need to put him in the uh, water tub. Not right now. In a minute. When we're done, you can. He's not a water tub. 
but he needs to be in the Okay, so Andy, we are so proud of you. We appreciate you. Um, yeah, give her a big old shout out, Dr. Deer. Dr. Deer, where's your mask? It's inside. Oh. It, it shocks. The elastic okay. stuff is like, it doesn't work. Hey. Andy Fiona, the they're chemo. Virginia Cardiovascular Specialists. We're so, that's, that's really awesome. Thank you. All right. Um, so we also, we're going to do our teacher shout outs really quickly. Sawyer, can you say these right here? Can you say well, this today's name? Today's Medical Monday, uh, not teacher. We're just going to do a couple teacher and then we're going to move on. We have a really cool medical thing that we're going to do that you may Kathy. have seen. Hey, Judith. In Germany. And we're going to talk about your history for geography later on in the week. Who's just so Duke? you know. Who's Duke? Duke. It's supposed to be Duke. Go ahead Hi, and say. All right, go so, ahead. Who are our teacher shout outs? Um... Kathy, Kathy Denton. Yes, well, we have recognized she is not one of our teachers, but I'll tell you what. Hey, Kim, is it? Hey, Kara, how are you? We just did our healthcare shout out for Virginia Cardiovascular Specialist Andy Funai. Yeah. Um, and now we're doing our teacher shout outs. Kathy but Denton. But it's she, Medical Monday. It's Medical Monday, but we're going to do that. She, Kathy Denton is not one of our teachers or one of our schools, but I'll tell you what, I keep, I keep seeing cool stuff that she does. It's amazing. Say it again. Who is it, Saw? Kathy Denton. Who Kathy else? Kathy Denton. Look in the camera so I can see. Um, what's, her, what's her first name? Uh, Mrs. Alright. Um, we don't offer, I don't know her Go first ahead, name, spit it out. But Miss Rotundi from Mrs. Cold Harbor. Mrs. Mrs. Rotundi? Uh, from Cold Harbor Elementary. What did she do today? Why are we thanking she her? She did the affixes and suffixes and prefixes yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Vi videos on what? On affixes and suffixes. Yes, and do you know what they are now? What's a prefix? A pre, I, I don't know, not. It comes before, at the. Before, before the pre. Great. Before, pre before means what? Before. Like, See, Mrs. Rotundi, uh, your work is paying off. And, and, and Miss Dukes, because I wanted to. And, and what, and who else? Uh, okay, and Miss Duke. Miss Duke, she is my, I guess, third grade and teacher. And she taught and us. Grayson's second grade. And teacher. she taught you this morning how to what? Um, oh, count money. Make change. Well, make I already Yes. Oh, make change, not count money. I already learned that. And very that. soon, yeah. we're going to do who? We're going to see Mrs. Gibaldi. Gibaldi. Thank you, ladies, so much. I and Miss McCray. And Miss McCray. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. I will say, I sat, I did, did I have a few tears again this morning? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was that just a lady. Uh, I got a little <gasps> overwhelmed. And uh, then when I looked at and broke it down by the videos, I'm like, oh, this is a piece of cake. These again. teachers have set it up. So I that's awesome. Oh. Here's another shout out. Listen to this. Now, she's not watching, I don't think. And Angie, she's yeah. going to be kind of shocked that I'm maybe. Oh, yeah. Connie Kennedy. Yeah, she's a yoga teacher. I she's at the, she, she's at the YMCA, but it was a conversation with really Connie really and Angie hard. this weekend, and Connie was saying, you know, teaching to your kids' yeah. interests, and she was talking about her son, who maybe didn't care at all about the certain subject or this, that, and the other, but he got to pick what he wanted to do. He picked his garden, and now he talks about it all day long. What, his and garden? same thing with this one right here. What do you love to do, Sawyer? See, you talk about fish. Come on. What's fish. Thing? Well, I do love fish. Fish. And so what are you now? What are you getting ready to do? Go fishing. Biologist in training. No, I'm not. Biologist. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Hey, Isabel, I'm how good. are you? We're happy that you're here. We're doing our teacher shout-outs. We just did our health care shout-outs. We're talking about biologists Mina! and training. So Sawyer, you're doing great. Learning so much. Be patient. I'm coming to your house soon. I know. He wants Same to Same with drum mummies. I don't know okay, so Connie, thank you so much. I mean, and Angie, that conversation was awesome. But Connie's an awesome yoga teacher, and she um, she was just inspiring this weekend, saying those things, teaching to your interests, and that's what we're doing. And so now Sawyer is a biologist in training, and no, he has I'm to not, do not not yet. You are you you read the first page. He has to do five activities, and then he will get a certificate. To Fourteen activities and be a bi semi biologist. Grayson, would you? Oh wow, you look and so And it's left gonna out. be I'm huge. So because I'm eight, that's what she said. Would you like to do it too? No, because no. I'm already part fish. You are part fish. It'd be I, great I, for both of you. I, okay, I, let's I, move on. Can I put them in the water have that now? Not yet. The last thing oh. is, Bronson <laughs> loved to fish. Oh, so I can't see it so far Bronson away. Bronson loved, loved to fish, fish too. More, more than anything. More than anything. Yeah. I'm going fishing right after. And we're doing okay, a fishing thing not. tomorrow, which Maybe. we're getting, we minnow we're getting minnows. Uh -huh. And I'm going to, and um, there's like this. Okay. Three foot pike. There's like this three foot pike that I caught three in there. And our pond back there. Yeah. And there's also no. an eight pound bass and a whole. Yeah. He. There's an okay. eight pound bass. Yep. Ten. And there's like a 
It's eight. And the pond eight. in the back of the neighborhood and dates like some is a natural pond from the Civil War. Gaines Mill no, Battlefield is one of, yes it is. Oh, yes it is. Yes it is. Yes, it is. It's not a Somebody man Somebody drained it. Okay, I great. Forgot. Thomas, no. I don't Tom, know. Tom, not Thomas Jefferson, it was um, not him. Um, I know it Lee, Lee. Robert E. Lee. Robert E. Lee. Maybe so. Maybe so. Jackson? Yes, we learned a lot about the Cold Harbor Battlefield on Friday, which was the what, Sawyer, quickly? What? What was Cold Harbor Battle? Say it. The quickly. bloodiest battles in the American history. The bloodiest battles mm -hmm. in American history. It was crazy, and we yeah, read okay. about it on Friday. Okay, here we go. Today, Medical Monday. Oh, wait, one more teacher. Maggie Bruner from Berkwood Fitness and Racket Club. She is 36, 37 weeks pregnant, and I did a video with her this morning and thought I was going to die. She put me to shame. Oh! It's insane. It's she's insane. Pregnant, she's pregnant. She she's way she's pregnant, pregnant, and I had to quit at a half hour. I don't do those 60-minute things. What is and her baby I don't have time for that. I do. Like, she me? does, though. She's doing it. She's great. Her baby will be here in about three weeks. Oh, right. May okay. 9th. That's so she's going to the hospital. So, okay, guys. So we're right here. So, she's got the hospital. So Maggie, thank you so much for your workouts. Thank They're you. awesome, and you are such an inspiration. Go easy, and we're all thinking about you. So Maggie, all right, here we go. This is Medical Hello, Monday. We are talking a little bit about COVID, not a whole bunch, because Trudy. we all know enough Play. about it, right? But now people are starting to head out, right? It's crazy how many people are going out. Even we've started to venture out. We're still socially distancing. Sawyer, listen, please. Um. Charlie, come over here, boy. About all the different information that we've received. All right, so I was reading stuff this morning. COVID on your clothes. Sawyer, do you hear this? Studies show that some of these particles could float in the air. Yeah. yeah. Okay, there's Charlie. He stinks. He's a wet dog. Can you put him down, the wet dog? The bunny is very good. Very, very good. <coughs> the bunny's what? great. We've had a great time with the bunny this morning. Which very reminds me, put go. the dog down, Be Sawyer. Be careful with the dog. I'm trying to. Charlie, you got to go. This morning, as I went to take a shower, just a little while ago, I opened up my bathroom door. <laughs> it's now covered, my jacuzzi bath is covered in hay. In Timothy Hay. Timothy Hay. And the hamster and the bunny got to be great friends in my jacuzzi. <laughs> and yeah, then I tried to run to the toilet, and there's hay all over it, and no, all over no, my bathroom not. now. Y'all be cleaning that up at 1.30. Here we go. Okay. Listen to me. I need right you to now? hear this. This is aerodynamics. This is science. And this, if you listen, Sawyer I and Grayson, if you listen to this about aerodynamics, your homework is done for the day. It's already um, done. Don't. I already finished all that work. <clears throat> so here we go. Studies show that some of the particles could float in the air for about a half hour, but they don't swarm like gnats. You know, like if you're standing there and gnats are all around you. So a droplet that's small enough to float in the air is unlikely to deposit on your clothing. So this is something to think about. The droplets are small enough that they'll move in the air around your body and the clothing. But see, when we walk, it's like if you're riding in a car, all those bugs, what happens if we're flying in the car? What happens to the bugs? They die. Splat. Ah, oh, Jake, got Jinx, you. Me a, I need a cup. Oh, whatever, I'm supposed to buy you. No, I don't like coke. Yeah. Um, whatever. Beer. So the deal is, how do I get this down? Um, Beer. You drink the deal is that you, you need so, with aerodynamics, listen to this, aerodynamics, the best way to describe it is they follow the airflow around a person, and because we move relatively slow, it's kind of like small insects, but when they slam, we don't go fast enough that they're going to slam in the window. So, as we move, we kind of push air out of the way. Think about it. Move your hand. Wait, wait, there's a science move experiment. Here. And most of the droplets... Drop. Someone would have to speak to you like this. Sorry, get in my face. Like somebody would have to. No, don't do that. Don't do that. See, ah! I was saying if You're I say disgusted. my teeth, it's called spit talking. I didn't spit in his face, but you did. It's in my mouth. <laughs> Ew! If I had COVID, now you would too. I was saying talk. Yeah. That's my example. That was a little bit. But that's it. If you go. You know those people that talk to You're so close? mean! I didn't get it in your mouth. You're cruel! I'm not cruel. You're pure right, evil! So you would have to cough or sneeze for it to land on your clothes. All right, so just know I'm going this. to get that out of my mouth. Thank you for looking. Come back, Sawyer, when you're done. Hurry. I need you to hurry. Oh, I need to we have to do our experiment, and I need Superbug to do his stuff. All right? Go! Uh, Quick. 
if you're not back in two minutes, you're out. Okay. So you have, it's like if it, coughing and sneezing. So think about that as we're all out and about. We don't have to be maybe so crazy because the air particles do drop. What about exercise? Okay. It says, firstly, any infectious droplets that are exhale, exhaled outside are diluted. They're quickly diluted in the air. So, Angie, I'll be interested to see what you'll say about this. Kathy Ditton, do you know that we gave you a shout out and you're yeah. not even one of our teachers or at our school? I see your name popping up. We gave you another shout out because I keep seeing cool stuff that you do and I think it's so awesome. I want to read you the story that she made for her kids on Easter. It was really, for her classroom. It was really, really sweet. So, thank you for being here. We're recognizing you, girl. It's, it's really cool. Now we're, we're doing Medical Monday. We did healthcare shout outs. We're talking about COVID, the little teeny tiny bit, and we're going to do a tiny thing that you guys may have already seen, but we're going to do it. So when you exercise, they're saying it, the air dilutes it. So be careful, but the concentrations would quickly become insignificant. I'm just passing on the information. It says, in addition, the stability of the virus outside is significantly shorter than inside. So don't go into people's houses. Don't go all up in their houses and walk through their kitchen and stuff like that, because then it's all around you. And like we did before, the quick talkers that expel air, that, that's and a And they don't, and they don't understand personal space. So Grayson, you can say a couple Lakers. things. Can you do that? Can I say something Your about facts. the experience? Your facts. Do we already cover them? And then I'm doing Dr. Dr. Deer. No. Okay, so I'm listing five ways um, that the uh, virus can spread to you. Well... Touching metal is a very big one. Okay, how long does it stay on hard and metal, metal surfaces? Three days. Three days. Um, we just feel like people might need a refresher. Shaking hands. Shaking hands, the contact of other people's hands, and then it can transfer into your What? Um, Enunciate that. And when you shake hands, the germs can transfer to you yep. because you're touching somebody else's hands. In Thank you, Inhalation. Well, inhalation and exhaling because all the germs from your mouth are going so that's Project why they, your um, are going to another person. That's why you have to say stay thirteen to, or six to thirteen feet apart. How many? Six to thirteen feet. Oh, apart. We were in golf carts this weekend. A golf cart there, golf cart there. I was on the picnic table, and that's how we did it. And then food condiments like uh, if there's let's say it's wrapped in plastic, and you grab that, that can cause it germs to transfer to you, but also just touching food. Period. Yes, we're going to show you here in a little bit. And then Anything electronics, else? phones, and com computers, etc. Um, like energy. energy. Go like, wait, do you have your phone on you? Oh, it's right there. Here, pretend well, this is a phone. Here we go. If I touch it, well, it's, I'm basically saying the same thing again, but the um, germs are transferred to you. What? The germs are transferred to you that are on the material on? that you touch. On the material that you touch. Nice. And I yeah. So. Hey, Shannon. Yes. And so we're just doing a little, a few little refreshers on COVID as people are starting to leave their house. We're certainly mm -hmm. seeing people protest. Tell oh, them the story. Yeah. Tell them the story. Tell them the story. Wait one second. I'll we'll tell the story think. in a minute. So, Let's go. Um, Keep going. We've got a couple I more things to get like through before our experiment. I forgot. No, no, no. Go ahead. Podcast. But anyways, brain busters. It's kind of similar to um. Here we go. To the uh, what was it called? The uh, the bugs, like the bugs getting your window and stuff. Yep. The, and the bugs the slamming in your window. But this, it's a different and experiment that these that these people did. I forgot what it was, but they did. Um, you can look it up on YouTube, like. Um, will you get wet? Will you get wetter um, if you run or walk through the rain? So that's Ooh, an that's a good. That's and a good one. People usually say that if you run, you're um, less water. You're gonna get less water on you. Okay. But when you run, the um, I do the listen, listen. When you're running, the water's coming down, so you're running at it, and it's coming at you. But when you're walking, so it just goes. Go down. try it real quickly, Grayson. You walk and Sawyer. You, you run. Oh, okay. We'll try that. But so they we, did. They we'll do that another day this week. But hey, Frank. How are you? Okay, we'll try. That's a cool experiment. We'll try that one. Do you get wetter if you run? Hey, wetter. We just learned that is an is that an affix, a suffix, or a prefix, I don't think Sawyer? Is a, a suffix. It's a suffix. Awesome. Let go. We're getting ready to do our experiment. This I is a fun experiment. I all that stuff on my. On my hands. Okay, ah. so do you get wetter if you run or walk in the rain? I, so I we're forgot. Gonna... Is it Mythbusters? <coughs> Mythbusters. I, I don't, I don't know. But what is that? Maybe it's that. Our it's... dog is about to eat the turtle. Okay, Sawyer, go get him. Charlie, don't eat the turtle. No, okay, too, this is too, how it always goes. Man, 
Look at this. Great job. Thanks, Elaine. Watch this. Great. No, sorry, can we move on? All right, so here are five cool things. Here are five cool things that we have for today. Okay, All right, Austin Adventures, the virtual tour. Hello, hello, am I the only one here? No, no, Where South Dakota. South Dakota. I didn't know that. Virtual tour, sign up for the virtual hey. tour of South Dakota. Do you know what's in South Dakota? I think it's Death cows. Valley. No, Mount Rushmore, all those presidents clubs. Yeah, and, I'm and dying cows to go there. and sheep and stuff. Okay, so sign up. Austin Adventures, go to their virtual tour. Um, We're going to uh, Death Valley? Is that in South Dakota, Sawyer? I don't know. Okay. Somebody said it. This is the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. Oh, Earth Day, and we're going to plant a garden. Plant a garden, people. Plant a garden, 50th anniversary. We can do that if you're... Plant some yeah, trees. Yeah, if we're home, that's what we can do. We, since the boys argue so much, you know what I've decided we're doing this week? No, Get this, people. We're going to do a debate. We might even do a virtual debate. Like because they argue. argue all the time. Well, you know what? So they're each going to pick their position today. If it's alligators versus crocodiles, I don't care what it is. We they're going to write it up all week, and then they'll do their debate we're on Friday debate night. Right now. If you'd like for me to air it live, we will. We're doing a debate right now? No. I Virtual board that. games, and tomorrow I'm hoping we're going to have happening. an appointment with a friend. We're going to play Boggle virtually. Only one family needs Boggle, and then you do it and you compete right there. So that's with the kids, right? Yes, De Elaine, debate. All right, kids yep. podcast, Brains On. We listened to that this morning. Sawyer, what was it about? Tickling yourself? Or tickling how do you... and cuteness. How tickling and cuteness. How it works. And then, no, because I said no. And then the other podcast is Book Clubs for Kids. And I'm telling you, those that have kids, it's really cool. Get your kids involved in podcasts. They're awesome. And that's something that they can do for the rest of their lives. Okay, so now we're going to do our little experiment and pray that it won't go bust. So what we have today, I'm going to cut off my computer. <clears throat> what we have today is, I'm sure you all have seen this, but you haven't seen it here. So I'm going to try and do this. Let me set my computer down. Sawyer, please don't mess with my computer. All right, I will. All right, here we go. Everybody, put on their medical gloves, please. Sawyer, put on your medical gloves, Grace, and they're right there. What Let's go. Me? Let's go, people. I don't want to touch that. Make up. sure, everyone, that you are wearing your masks. Grace, and I'm really sad that you don't have your it, mask. I, Grace, I lost it. No, I didn't. I know Let's where it go. is. It's in the homework room. It's just, go get it. Go grab it. Go get your it mask. It doesn't work. Like, I'll here show we you. go. This is a prime example, Ow, people. Watch. Of what happens when you go out and your husband or your kid or somebody's like, oh, I don't feel like it. I don't, I can't find it, right? And then you don't wear it. And then you know what? Then you have COVID. So let's forget that. Get your masks and make it happen. Make it happen, Howard Motley. If you're watching, get your mask. And because Papa it helps with the isn't Hey, on. Daniel, we've done our healthcare shout-outs, our teacher shout-outs. Yeah, Papa is Now we're getting ready to do a little medical experiment that I'm sure you all have seen. However, we're going to do it ourselves. I don't care about this profile. So, put on your medical gloves, people. Cheetos. Ew! Whatever, Grayson. You reach for your, your, your power, your spinach and your power protein bar. Whatever. Okay. Spinach reach for sucks. it. And on it might be a virus. Papa! Come on, reach in for your little, just a little bit. So if you make this a mess, you will be grounded, and I'm not kidding. Okay? I don't want to go Go ahead. Here you go. Reach on in there. Let me have your hand. Left Put your hand, hand. Le your left hand, and I'm sorry, baby. That's right. So he reaches all in. There we go. That's great. Okay. There we go. Can you hold on? Uh, Reach on in there. I've got COVID. Oh my gosh. Just COVID. Oh my gosh. Okay. I've got COVID. 
Don't you know? sell. Hey, sorry. This is a very serious thing. I'm not kidding. People are dying around the world, and it's something very serious. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna help people by showing yeah. what we can do to prevent then, this. Then so we reached for a bag of, of um, some bitch. Yeah, and then all of a sudden you get an itch on your nose. Scratch your nose. Go ahead. It oh was, yes. Mm -hmm. Sit down, sorry, so we can see you. <laughs> Scratch your nose. Mm -hmm. Hurry up. Come on. Scratch your nose. I <laughs> Well, right, I've got it on my hands too. Wait a minute, there's something on your cheeks, Grayson. Okay, here we go. How dare now, you? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, I asked you to um, <laughs> grab my phone because oh, I can't. No. Don't. And you touch your brother. No. Now no. you're reaching for your phone. Here's my phone. Go ahead. You. Oh no, now look at that. <laughs> now it's all over my phone, right? <laughs> hey, Linda, we're doing a little experiment that I'm I sure need... you all have seen, but we're doing it ourselves. Now you've got the virus on. This is even though you have gloves. Oh, it's so stupid. You reach for your phone. Well, guess what? Hold on, sorry. I gotta get more. Look at me. Not... Look at my face. <gasps> I'm controlling this. You got it. Not I'm controlling the virus. All right. Okay. Here we go. So hold your cell phones off. Okay. Stop. I'm playing music. Now hold this phone up to your face because you got a phone call. Oh. I should just listen. Oh my I God. should have known that Sawyer would play in Grayson. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. Here, Sawyer, give me the phone. Give me the phone. So it's now, feels like now hold the phone. Hold the phone. Okay? Now you got a phone call. Okay? Okay, put it down. Put it down. Hey, peeps. Hey, do it. Okay? No, oh my gosh. Now look, it's all over his face. Mm -hmm. Okay, Grayson, are you continuing to do this? No. Okay, but Grayson still <laughs> had it on his nose. Marcus, we are doing an experiment. Yeah. <laughs> With our medical Monday. I can't get it. Okay, and so Sawyer has just gone to the dollar store <laughs> for a really quick trip, and he picked up a bag of Cheetos, <laughs> and then somehow it got on his face, and then he got a phone call. Now, Ugh. Sawyer, Mommy needed you to get a pencil out of her pocketbook. So go grab ahead. my pencil. So grab the pencil. Pretty All right, cheap. so now you grab the pencil. I can't even get my pencil. Here, here, here. All right, now, sorry, let me have the pencil really quickly because I've got a, I forgot something on my list. Let me see. So now, guess what? She's got now COVID! I've got it. And I've got a really, so I've got it. Now, I've got a really strong itch on my eye. Oh, my gosh, now I've got it on my Ew, face. what happened to you? Okay, please tell me that you all get the point. We get hey, the Marcus, point. do you get the point? We get the point. And Grayson, I'm going to fix your oh, hair. No! Come here. Mommy, come here. No! Come here. No! Come no. Here. no. So, come over here. I don't want to. Don't be silly. Now, come on. So we're showing this is how it goes. Grayson's gotten on his face. So now our family of three, all of us have it. Okay? So my point is... <laughs> <laughs> it's a family of... Four. I'm just showing. I'm just telling y'all what's going down. All right? So that was our little experiment today. It's a this family of four. I think I got it. A family of four. The except good thing is this is pudding, and I'm a nice mom, and that's what we're going to do now for lunch, is we're going to eat our pudding. No, I don't okay? like it. So guys, listen, it's very serious that even though you have on gloves, you do not touch your face. Do you understand? And little kids that go with you into the store, because every store we've gone in, it seems like the parents can't leave their kids in the car. They bring in families of three and four, like they're all these kids all over the place. It's insane. <gasps> All right, well, it's what it is. That's what you have to do. And so then it's all on your hands. It's now, look, Grayson, it's in your face. And what kind of virus is this virus? It is a COVID-19 respiratory It's a respiratory, respiratory What does that mean? It affects your... It means your, your chest and your lungs. Chest. So if it's here, my it's going to be all right. Daddy had to wash my face. Daddy had something Don't wash in your face his lungs. Yet, Grayson. I, but Daddy I'll had something right. in his lungs, but it wasn't COVID, thank the God. We don't know. It, well, thank goodness, but it could be. Thank goodness. Okay, thank you God. guys, thanks so much for watching. So it's we did thank teacher shout-outs today. We did exercise shout-outs. We talked about COVID getting all over our face. Yeah, that's right. That's what we got. Putting on our face. Virus on our face. Good luck surviving this one. That's the way it goes, people. Wait, doesn't we have Superbug? Oh, Superbug. I gotta wash my face now. It's, it's getting Go. to my nose. If you have to... Uh, Sawyer, do we have time for Superbug? We'll do them tomorrow. This has been way too much. All right, guys. Wash your hands. Wear this your mask. so good. Thank you for giving me inspiration and being here with us. Now we're going to do that and wear inflated gloves on our heads. Wait, Mommy, we can't do it tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to be doing the other thing. We'll do Superbug.
for Bug tomorrow. All right, everybody. Bye, Marcus. We love you. Bye. Right, bye. So bye. 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 Teachers, keep We're up doing... the good work. Healthcare doing... workers, thank you so much. Thank you. Tomorrow, so since, I did, since we didn't do it today, we did the, uh, um, we're, we're going to do the, um, Eastern, <coughs> Eastern Tent Calendar. This pudding is pretty good. Here, no, I'm going to show you one right now. I'm going to show you one right now. It's okay. Dead, Thanks, but, guys. Yeah. Here. Thank you, oh, healthcare workers. On. One, and we have one caterpillar. Here we go. He's dead. Oh. All right. Here's this is, super bug. It's a dead one, but yeah. Here we go. One, but he's probably going. That's okay. Nice. All right. We'll see he's that. He's dead, but yeah. All right, everybody. Bye. Have a happy Monday. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank I love you, too. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.